we will discuss the top five most common causes of lower back pain, their causes and treatments, muscle and ligament strain. The most common cause of back pain is strain to muscles and ligaments. This pain often follows a specific event or activity, such as awkward lifting or sudden twisting. Symptoms include localized pain that does not radiate to the leg, difficulty bending, muscle stiffness, and spasms. The pain typically increases with physical activity and improves with rest. The underlying issue is often muscles or ligaments that have been overstretched due to improper lifting techniques or prolonged poor posture. In rare cases, ligaments can also be torn. This condition can develop at any age but is more common after 30. Treatment, rest and avoiding activities that exacerbate the pain are important for the first few days. Applying ice and heat can reduce pain and inflammation. Pain management may include acetaminophen, naproxen, or ibuprofen. Topical applications, such as diclofenac cream or capsaicin cream, the latter derived from chili peppers, can be effective by reducing levels of substance P, which is important for pain transmission. However, several days may be required to notice their effectiveness. Lidocaine patches or creams can also be used for temporary local pain relief. Core strengthening exercises are recommended to help prevent future injuries. Herniated disc, also known as a bulging or ruptured disc, this condition is the second most common cause of back pain. Symptoms include pain, numbness, tingling, or weakness that radiates down one leg and sometimes into the foot, a condition commonly referred to as sciatica. Lower back pain can be intense and sharp, often accompanied by muscle weakness. The pain worsens with sitting, coughing, or sneezing. The most distinguishing factor is sciatica, or pain that radiates along the sciatic nerve pathway. With age, the discs between vertebrae can weaken, making them prone to tears or bulges. The soft inner material of the disc can push through the outer layer, irritating nearby nerves. If the pain or tingling radiates below the knee, a herniated disc is often suspected. Some individuals with sciatica may not experience back pain at all. Sciatica-type nerve pain or tingling is usually broader in nature rather than isolated to one toe or specific local areas. Diagnosis and treatment To diagnose a herniated disc, a CT scan and MRI are typically required to locate the herniation precisely and define its severity, especially when conservative treatment fails. Non-surgical treatment, including rest and physical therapy, is important, as most cases will improve with these approaches. Core strengthening exercises, manual therapy such as massage and manipulation, can also reduce back pain. Pain management may include ibuprofen, naproxen, and acetaminophen. For acute and severe pain, muscle relaxants like cyclobenzaprine or methocarbamol may be used. In some cases, epidural steroid injections are required to reduce inflammation. Low-dose antidepressants, such as tricyclic antidepressants like amitriptyline, can be used for chronic low back pain management. Arthritis. Arthritis, a general term encompassing conditions like osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis, is the third most common cause of lower back pain. Symptoms include pain that worsens in the morning and after periods of inactivity, warmth and tenderness in the joints, and a cracking or grating sensation with movement. Stiffness due to arthritis worsens with rest but improves with gentle motion. Arthritis typically affects individuals over 50 with a higher prevalence in women, though it also affects men. Mechanism Osteoarthritis develops due to the wear and tear of cartilage, which leads to bones rubbing against each other, causing pain and stiffness. Management, long-term management includes weight loss and exercise. Pain relief can be achieved with ibuprofen, naproxen, or acetaminophen, and topical applications like diclofenac or capsaicin. Supplements such as glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate and turmeric curcumin, due to its anti-inflammatory properties, can also support arthritis management. 
In severe cases, joint replacement surgery may be considered. Skeletal irregularities, conditions like scoliosis are the fourth most common cause of lower back pain. Scoliosis, which often begins in youth, can lead to chronic pain into adulthood. The severity of pain does not directly correlate with the curvature of the spine. Symptoms include uneven shoulders or hips and visible spinal deformities. Scoliosis is usually congenital or develops during adolescence, and its causes are often unknown, though genetics can play a role. Treatment, observation, and bracing are common non-surgical treatments to prevent further curvature in adolescence. Physical therapy focusing on posture and strength can be beneficial. Surgery may be considered in severe cases. Osteoporosis, the fifth most common cause of lower back pain, osteoporosis, may not show symptoms in early stages but can lead to sudden and severe back pain due to spinal fractures. The condition, characterized by low bone density, increases the risk of fractures. It is often caused by aging, hormonal changes, low calcium intake, and a sedentary lifestyle. Osteoporosis is most common in postmenopausal women over 70 but can also affect younger individuals, particularly those with chronic steroid use or eating disorders. Prevention and management, regular screening is beneficial for early detection. Adequate intake of calcium and vitamin D, along with regular weight-bearing exercise, is important for prevention. Bisphosphonates, like alendronate, are used to strengthen bones 